Welcome to another wall Pilates workout. My name is Rachel. I'm a certified Pilates instructor and occupational therapist and your guide to strength focused Pilates workouts. Today I'll be using ankle weights throughout the workout. They are optional, not required, but it will add a little extra challenge here. So let's get started. Start by coming up to the wall. Remember we want to be at a 90 degree angle with our knees and our hips. So we're going to come up. Placing my feet about hip distance apart, and then we can lie down. So let's just do one hip lift, seeing how that feels. You wanna make sure that you are just coming up onto the shoulder blades, and that you're not coming up onto the cervical spine. So this feels comfortable for me. If you feel it too much in your hamstrings, you can lower those feet or come closer. You might need to play around with the angle here. If you feel like to get in full hip extension here, you are up on your neck too much and not on the shoulder blades, you may need to scoot yourself out as well. So let's come down. We'll start with five hip rolls. So we're going to tilt that pelvis back, roll through imprint, come up onto the shoulder blades. And then let's roll down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. And again, roll through imprint, coming up. Trying to keep those knees pointed towards the wall, not letting them float in or out. Roll back down. And again, roll up. Exhaling as we roll up. Inhale, roll down. We got two more. Roll back up. And roll down. Last one, rolling up. squeezing those glutes at the top and roll back down. Okay, let's keep the feet, we're gonna put the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and we'll do 10 hip lifts just like that. So lifting straight up, feeling like you're being pulled right from your pelvis here, come up and come back, just slightly hovering over the floor or the mat. Lift up again, squeeze those glutes as you come up. So the ankle weights don't do much in terms of adding more to the glutes here, but as we go into single leg, you'll feel it's more of a challenge for your abdominals and then also into the glute that we are actively working on. Good, come back down. Okay, now we are going to turn those feet out. So those toes now are pointed towards the outside and we're going to lift up and come back down. I can feel I'm a little bit too close to the wall here as I'm kind of coming up into my cervical spine. So let's push up again. So drive those hips up, slightly hover as we come down. With a breath, we exhale up, inhale lower. Really try to squeeze here as you come up all the way. If you're feeling this too much into your low back, make sure we keep those abs engaged to prevent that arching in the low back. And last one. Good, come back down. All right, now let's put those feet back into parallel. We're gonna lift up. You're gonna lift the heels. So let's go both heels up and come back down. Stay lifted here. That's the challenge with the glutes, just to stay, stay lifted. So come up for 10. One, two, I feel this quite a bit into my hamstrings. I was surprised how sore my hamstrings felt the day after this. The first one. <laughs> Good for three, two, and one. Okay, now turn those feet out and we're gonna be lifting like that. So our feet are pointed away. Lift those heels again. One, two. Good, we got five more, five. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, that's good for the calves. And come back down. Okay, let's go into some single legs. So we are gonna keep our feet hip distance apart, parallel. We're gonna lift up. Now I have my left leg towards you. I'm gonna put that in tabletop. I could already feel this is more of a challenge just with those little ankle weights. All right, so with that supporting leg, the leg against the wall, you're gonna lift up, lift the heel up, and come back down. Challenge here, keep this all stable. 
and stay lifted in that glute. So let's go for 10. So lift up, one, two, three, four. And we wanna keep staring towards the ceiling and not looking towards our feet. We wanna keep a nice neutral spine, cervical spine here. Good, place that foot down and come down. Okay, so lift back up. Other leg goes in tabletop, nice and lifted. This is level here. And we're gonna lift the heel, come back down for two. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, last one. One, good, place that other foot down and come back down. Let's just bring the legs in. Feel that nice little stretch there. Okay, keeping with single leg, we come up again. Single leg, put the leg into tabletop. We are going to drop the hips down. You don't have to come all the way to the ground. Just drop down and then push up into that extension of the hip joint using that supporting glute, the glute of the leg that's against the wall. We'll keep the other one in tabletop. So we'll do that for 10. So coming down, lifting up. Such a challenge here for your core, the pelvis area to keep this all level. You might feel as you get tired, this one that is a tabletop leg will want to drop down. So we really wanna keep this all in one plane. Last one, one. Okay, put that foot down and come down. We'll take breaks between each one, right? <laughs> okay, come back up. <sighs> Quick breaks, that's Pilates for you. <laughs> okay, now come down and then extend. Use that glute, drive up. Even keeping the abs in here helps us not arch in the back, like I mentioned earlier. That's really big when we're doing even more of a stability challenge like this. Good, last one. One, great, put that foot down, come down. Bring those feet in, rock back and forth. All right, let's try that with the feet turned out. So we are turning out with the feet in a V. Hip distance apart, let's lift up. Place that foot in tabletop. You can slightly turn it out if you have a hard time with your feet doing two different things, two different positions. I know I do. So let's come down and lift up. It's gonna feel pretty different. So let's do that for 10. So down and up. Five, four, three, two, last one. Oh my gosh, it is so surprising how much that <laughs> can tire you out. All right, other side. Lift up, other foot goes in tabletop, down and up. Good. drive that glute up. We're almost done here. Three, two, last one. One, place that foot down, pushing against that wall, and come back down. Bring the legs in and rock back and forth. Okay, keeping with single leg. Remember, you could always take these off if it feels like it's just too much. Or when we're up into a bridge doing some single leg work, if that feels like too much too, just simply put that supporting leg on the ground and then do the same exercises that I'm doing here. Still gonna get a lot of work into the glutes and into that core stability. Let's push up into a bridge, pushing against the wall. I'm gonna have my leg pointed forward first. We're going to do tabletop and point up to the ceiling. We're just trying to stay lifted, lifted and level. 
That's what this class should be called. So, <laughs> so let's go down and up. Remember, we're trying to really point that foot, reach, try to reach through the wall, stay lifted. That will help whew, stay lifted through that leg on both sides. With that knee extension here, we're feeling that into the quads, so squeeze those quads as you point that foot. One, good, put that foot down. Let's go right into the other one. So this leg's in tabletop now, point, bring it back down. Feel that length through the foot. Keep breathing. <laughs> I still focus, even though we're doing so much with the legs here, I'm always trying to focus on keeping the abs in, drawing them in. Last one. One, okay, put that foot down. We'll come down in between. Bring the legs in. This is where your foot says, like, how did you get two pounds heavier on your foot? <laughs> it's more challenging than it was last time. It's good to uh, work our bodies and brains like that. So let's lift up again. Okay, point that foot. We are going to go back and forth. This is Ooh, quite a bit more challenging with that extra weight there. So point that foot, small line away, and then try to bring it slightly across midline here, so kind of towards that other leg. Still trying to stay level. So much concentration. This is where it's a lot of mindful movement here. Three, two, and one. Okay, put that foot down, other side, and across, and away. A little more unsteady on this side. It's kind of nice to do small movements like this because it can kind of expose little weaknesses that we might not see elsewhere. Three, two, last one, one. Okay, plant that foot down, come down, bring those feet in. Okay, put those feet back, drive back up, and then we're gonna do five circles clockwise and counterclockwise. So coming around, one. The further that leg gets away from the core here, that's where we really feel that challenge. Lots of work for the obliques to stabilize us and prevent us from rotating here. Good, we're going the other way now. Okay, plant that foot down, other side. Last thing here, so clockwise. Really feeling that on the outside of the line here. Okay, other way. Last one. Okay, nice little lift. Put those feet down and come back down. Okay, so now we're gonna sit up and change the ankle weights from our ankles to our wrists. Okay, so let's lie down, placing our feet up against the wall. Weights are gonna provide resistance for our arms and for the abs. We're gonna start with the arms reaching overhead. We're going to flex up as those arms come down by our hips and come back and we'll do that for 10. So flexing up and back with the breath. Exhaling as we flex up. Inhale, lower down. So this is similar to an exercise we do on the reformer with the arms, but instead of pulling the straps, we've got the resistance from the ankle weights here. Okay, we've got three more. Okay, 
Last one. Okay, next we're gonna go into triceps. So the upper arm is down by your side. You can keep your hands flat or bent. It doesn't make a difference here. We're gonna flex up as we extend the arms and then come back. We'll stay flexed up this whole time for this. So extend the arms, really trying to squeeze here and coming back, working the triceps. So we'll do that for 10. So one, two. So abs are working here just to keep us lifted. You can use the weight of pushing into the feet to try to stay more lifted here. Last one. One. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> now we're gonna combine those two. So it's gonna look like this. Arms up by our ears. We're gonna flex up, stay up as we tricep extend. Come back down. So that's one rep. We're gonna do 10. Here we go. Flex up and tricep, come back down. Flex up. So as we come up, I'm trying to gaze between, like kind of right between your legs there. Trying to keep that spine nice flexed up. And not really like jamming your neck forward. That's not comfortable. So you might be able to feel that when we bring those arms down, it actually helps us be able to flex up because we kind of have a counterweight to bring us up here. And last one. Good, bring the arms back and come back down. Okay, now we're gonna do a chest press. So you're gonna bring your arms right in front of you. You're gonna bring, drive those elbows down. And then as you reach up, you're gonna flex up. Come down. Flex up. You could always add dumbbells holding on with your hands if you want to make it even more challenging. The breath, we come down, inhaling, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Flex up, down and up. I'm a little limited with my right arm on this side here. Three, two, last one, one. Good, come back down. Now we're gonna bring one arm back, one arm down, come back to center. So the flexing up part will be as we alternate those arms. Come back down, alternate. <laughs> Ooh, the weight of that arm, I can feel that in my abs. So we'll do that for 10 as well. So reaching back, lift up, come back down, other arm, switch, good, we're almost there, four, three, two, last one, one. Good, you can bring your arms down to rest. Now let's try to bring both arms by our ears here. You can have your palms facing in. We're going to flex up as we try to keep those arms by our ears and come back down. If this feels like too much or it's just too uncomfortable, you could keep your elbows bent for this as you flex up and down. So if you feel any discomfort in the shoulders and the arms with it fully extended, that's an option. So let's go for 10. So flexing up. So much harder. <laughs> really trying to use the abs nice, slow, controlled, not using momentum. Last one. Good, bring the arms down. All right, the last one we're gonna do here, we are going to 
have the arms overhead again. We're gonna reach as we flex up. We're gonna hold one, two, three, come back down with the arms overhead. We'll do that for 10. So arms come forward, we come up, hold one, two, three, lower down. And again, arms come forward, flex up for one, two, three, come back down. And up. Come back down. So we're trying to exhale as we have that flexed up position. Using that exhale to use those abs to stay lifted. You can feel a difference when you push into the wall and when you kind of forget about your feet. I feel like when I push against the wall, I'm able to flex up more. Using that to be able to ground myself against. And up. Almost done. This one, let's hold for 10 seconds. So holding for 10, nine, eight, stay lifted. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And come on down. Okay, let's sit up. Let's just do a little stretch for the abs because I know that you might need it. I definitely need it. So we're just gonna stay seated here. I'm gonna take my uh, ankle weights off. So just bringing the arms up, stretching through the stomach here. So when we extend that back, we're able to stretch all those abdominal muscles. Kind of the opposite of what we were trying to do <laughs> during the ab exercises. All right, and come back down. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the workout. If this is something that you would like to see more of, please like this video, comment below. Let me know what you would like to see more of. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.